is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Live at 4. Our first foreign weather team is tracking some severe storms. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington on this alert day. Alex? Susan and Brady, yes, we've been tracking severe thunderstorms south and east of Dane County over the far, far southeastern portion of Rock County and our friends in Walworth County, which are just outside of our viewing area. We had severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings a bit earlier today. Doppler track right now showing that that line of thunderstorms I'll sneak over here is actually now pushing out towards uh, Lake Michigan. What we're going to be looking for are thunderstorms now with this last wave. I think this will be the very last one just nearing the Mississippi River west of Grant County and future track is actually doing a really brilliant job bringing that thunderstorm into Grant County and I do expect that thunderstorm to move even further towards the north and towards the east towards Madison Janesville up to the Dells as we head towards six seven o'clock at night. So we'll be keeping a close eye on this. This is a live look right now with our Queen Bee radio sky cam in Platteville showing those cumulus clouds building into the sky. We've been talking about that heat building up. If you can get that sunshine, that heat builds up and then that brings the atmosphere prime for severe thunderstorms. Still looking at alert day conditions yet this evening for hail high winds. There's a tiny chance for a brief, brief spin up of a tornado. This would be for all of southern Wisconsin for your Tuesday evening. In a little bit, we're going to extend future track and go through the rest of the night and let you know when the storm chance will wane. All right, Alex, we'll check back in just a little bit. Thank you. The encampment at UW-Madison's Library Mall has entered its second week, and while talks continue between the protesters and UW administration, there is currently no end in sight. Shailen Banks shows us how the added attention has affected some local businesses. For over a week now, the pro-Palestine protests here on UW-Madison's Library Mall has brought a lot of attention to the university. With that, it's brought a lot of attention to these businesses in a way they may not have seen coming. For the past week, the typically busy library mall has seen an influx of people with the campus's pro-Palestine protest. Carlos Aguilar has shared his Venezuelan cuisine from his food truck, Caracas Sarapis, for over a decade. He shares with me the past week has stood out for his business because of all the added attention to the area. With the foot traffic, it has been uh, great for business. Uh, with the weather getting better too. Protesting, um, it's been definitely more, like more customers than, than normal. He also says that throughout the protest, he has felt safe and currently has no concerns. Thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate it. Tonight at 5, we'll hear more from Carlos on how the foot traffic has not only impacted him, but other businesses as well. For now, reporting at Library Mall, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. Thank you, Jalen. Now to the state capitol, where a legislative committee approved $36 million in spending to help fight the opioid epidemic in Wisconsin. Political reporter Will Keneally is there and has more. Yes, this money comes from lawsuit settlements against opioid manufacturers, and we learned Tuesday how the state legislature plans to spend it. The money will be put towards various treatment efforts, including broad distribution of Narcan, also things like law enforcement grants, and helping cover room and board for people receiving inpatient addiction treatment. The plan was ultimately approved by both Democrats and Republicans on the committee. Here's one of the Republican co-chairs who authored the plan. But it kind of shows you how the plan's so good they can't actually find things to criticize in it. So you had to kind of fabricate some outrage. Democrats did argue, though, that some of the funds were lacking. We'll get more into that coming up at 5. This also comes as once again the governor called the Budget Writing Committee into a special meeting to release PFAS funds. We'll have that coming up tonight at 5 as well. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Thank you, Will. We'll see you at 5. One person is in custody and another is in the hospital after a stabbing in Madison last night. It was 8.40 last night when someone called officers to the east side Target parking lot. When they arrived, officers found a man with multiple stab wounds to his chest. They say his injuries are significant. Investigators say the suspect stole the victim's car but was tracked down in Racine County multiple hours after the stabbing. And more local news, a group of runners made their way through Madison today on a journey across the U.S. They're part of a movement to bring the original meaning of Memorial Day to the forefront. Carry the Load is a public walk that has grown to nationwide acclaim. The nonprofit consists mainly of veterans who choose to walk to remember their fallen service members.
The true meaning of Memorial Day is remembering our fallen veterans and, uh, and our soldiers and stuff. And so we want to make sure that we honor them um, for the service that they provided to our nation. And the relay consists of five routes covering more than 20,000 miles and it passes through 48 states. The U.S. Department of Labor is designating this week as National Youth Apprenticeship Week for the first time ever. Now here in Madison, businesses are making sure students get the chance to work before graduation. UW Health is currently one of the largest employers of youth apprentices in Wisconsin with 32 high schoolers currently learning the skills to get into the medical profession. It's helped me a lot personally in deciding what I want to do after. So I feel like just having this experience is great. Um, and just for other people that are young, just like me, it, it's a great opportunity um, to just get involved in the careers that they want to do. In the upcoming school year, UW Health will employ 50 high school apprentices, paying them to work 450 hours during the school year. Still to come on Live at 4, a key witness takes the stand against former President Donald Trump. The latest updates from the Hush Money trial in New York when Live at 4 returns. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes, and as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, uh -huh. it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. Attention, Wisconsin. Get ready for Tundraland's first ever mega sale event. Is your bath tired looking in need of a serious upgrade? Our mega sales event is the best time to get your new bath or shower from Tundraland. Check this out. Call now, get free installation, a free accent wall upgrade, and be payment free until 2025. 800 Tundraland. The woman at the center of former President Donald Trump's criminal trial in New York took the witness stand today. CBS's Michael George reports. Stormy Daniels is in the same room as former President Donald Trump, called to testify about payments she accepted as part of what prosecutors call a cover-up scheme ahead of the 2016 presidential election. She can't say for sure 
I know that this is what Trump intended. Attorneys for the former president asked the judge to bar prosecutors from asking Daniels about sex. Judge Juan Mershon said Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, would be allowed to testify about the basic details of the encounter, an encounter Trump denies. Daniels recalled meeting the former president at his hotel in Lake Tahoe in 2006. She testified they spoke for two hours, including a mention of Melania Trump. And Daniels says when she emerged from the bathroom, the former president was on the bed wearing boxers and a T-shirt. She told the court they ultimately had sex on the bed, and she took a cab back to her hotel afterward, telling very few people what had happened. Trump entered Manhattan Supreme Court Tuesday morning, calling the felony hush money trial unfair and said there's no smoking gun. That's what they're trying to get us on, the fact that we call it illegal expense, illegal expense. His attorneys are expected to question the former adult film star's credibility. They'll basically make her look like somebody who was trying to extort or shake down the former president. Trump also railed against the judge's gag order on his way into court, calling it unconstitutional, but made no mention of Daniels by name. Michael George, CBS News, New York. The New York trial is just one that former President Trump is facing in both state and federal court. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he has ordered the military to begin operations in the southern Gaza city of Rafah. Israel says it is necessary to secure the freedom of hostages still being held by Hamas. Rafah is Hamas's last stronghold and some families of Israeli hostages say they're worried a full-scale military operation will endanger their loved ones. A major military operation would put at risk civilian lives. Anything that puts at risk civilian lives within Rafah is something that we are not supportive of. Now the U.S. is postponing some of its arms deliveries to Israel over concerns that civilians will be killed in the attack. CIA Director William Burns is in Egypt working with Israel and Hamas as they continue to negotiate a potential ceasefire in Gaza. A new report found just over a decade from now, Social Security and Medicare won't be able to fully pay benefits. According to the Entitlement Program's trustees' annual report, if Congress doesn't act fast to address the pending shortfalls, there will be fewer options. Following the collapse of Social Security Trust, payroll tax revenue, and other income sources will only be able to cover 83% of benefits owed. Disney Plus is reporting its first quarterly profit since the streaming service launched in 2019. It was a surprise for investors as Disney had forecast that the division would not reach profitability for another two quarters. Some analysts and investors were skeptical it would happen that soon. The unit it posted a net profit of $47 million for the quarter compared to $587 million, uh, million dollar loss in the same quarter a year ago. Let's get a look at your first Warren forecast. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington has it right now. Busy day today, Alex. Yes, it has been a busy day. We've been preparing for this for well over a week, and we still have an evening of alert day conditions possible across all of southern Wisconsin. This is for hail, high winds. There's a tiny chance of a tornado. This is for Tuesday evening. Evening. Let's get into the details here. Doppler track not showing any rain or any thunderstorm activity over Dane County as we speak right now, but that's not the case off towards the east. We did have so, some severe thunderstorms that prompted tornado warnings for the very, very, very southeastern portion of Rock County, then over towards Walworth County, and that has since moved out over Lake Michigan, where they still have a tornado watch in effect until 8 p.m. But I wouldn't be shocked to see parts of that watch trim because that line has since moved off towards the west. We're keeping our eyes now west of the Mississippi River, west of Grant County, west of Platteville, severe thunderstorm warning along Highway 20, and that's gonna be moving off towards the north and towards the east according to our future track radar. Look at that, moving into Iowa and Lafayette counties by the time we get to about 7, 7.15 in the evening, and that line will continue to move across the rest of southern Wisconsin. Our Queen Bee radio sky cam showing those cumulus clouds building up. They've warmed up across portions of southwestern Wisconsin and as I mentioned yesterday with this marginal risk of severe weather you need the heat in order for that thunderstorm activity to materialize. 
Cool still in Dane County. We're only in the mid 60s, but look at southwestern Wisconsin. Platteville, you're at 72 degrees. Boscoville, you're at 76. This is exactly what we said yesterday. We needed to have that heat to build up for more thunderstorm activity to percolate and develop across the area, and it does look like that's going to be the case. Let's track it together here. Future track showing those scattered thunderstorms over Grant, Iowa, and Lafayette County, 7 o'clock. Madison, Janesville, Wisconsin Dells, Camp Douglas by 8 o'clock. This should be that last batch of thunderstorms as we head towards 12 o'clock. Things will quiet down across southern Wisconsin. So let's recap that. There is a severe chance this evening the loss of heating after 8 o'clock should weaken those storms that move into Madison. Once they get past Madison, we'll continue to see that weakening mode once we go after dark. I do have some good news in the forecast. Well, it will be on and off shower and thunderstorm activity. I had some viewers saying, gosh, a lot of rain in the forecast here. Do you got something good? I do. Sunday, Mother's Day, high temperatures around 73 degrees, light winds and sunny skies expected across the area. Have some time, I think, for a few viewer photos here. This sent to us from far north in Wisconsin. We're at sky in the morning, and then we had that line of thunderstorms moving into southern Wisconsin. We appreciate that photo. Isn't that stunning with those purples and then those orange and the reds with that daunting sky in the morning that some other folks had sent us some pictures to the first Warren weather team saying, hey, look at this red sky in the morning. And then came that line of thunderstorms. Got a lot of emails asking me, what is this, Alex? It's very ominous, quite spooky here from over Cher Cherokee Marsh. Thanks to Leslie for sending us this. What you're looking at is a classic shelf cloud. Not all shelf clouds are associated with severe weather, although this is the line of thunderstorms that developed in Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, where they had uh, reports of severe weather, including large tornadoes. That same line moved across southern Wisconsin, which we were talking about last night, would be the case as a non-severe line of thunderstorms. And even those non-severe line of thunderstorms, here's another picture of that sent to us, Fort Atkinson looking west just at 8 a.m. You can see that ominous looking shelf cloud approaching Ken. Again, thunderstorms can be dangerous, even non-severe thunderstorms. And what we looked at this morning here, that really ominous sky, was a shelf cloud across southern Wisconsin. That QR code there is in the lower right. Go ahead and scan. I'll give you a couple more moments to scan it. That will link you directly to our web pages and our social portal portals. So if you want to send us your photos and get your photos on air, all you got to do is just scan that QR code and we'll do our best to get these pictures so I can show the weather, not just talk about the weather, Susan and yeah, Brady. Very cool to see that shelf mm -hmm. cloud. Thanks for sending your pictures in, everybody. Thank you, Alex. Between Mother's Day and Memorial Day sales, there are a lot of opportunities to save big on some top rated products this month. Consumer Reports experts reveal the items that stood out in their tests. Here's Shane Hogan. Take a deep breath of that fresh spring air because May is full of opportunities to save big on top rated products. Here are the top items Consumer Reports says to look out for in this month's best time to buy. Mother's Day falls on Sunday, May 12th this year, so you can expect holiday sales on things like tech gadgets, home goods, beauty products, and other gifts that will make your mom happy. Let mom know you care with a smartwatch that will support all of her goals, body, and mind. The Fitbit Sense 2 smartwatch is as low as $249.95 at ABT Electronics, Amazon, and Walmart. CR says this top-rated smartwatch has built-in GPS, along with sensors for stress and sleep tracking. And whether it's for smoothies or margaritas, a new blender might be the perfect gift. This Cuisinart 3-in-1 blender is as low as $99.95 at Walmart. CR says this blender performed very well in its smoothie-making test and aced its pureeing soup test. After you've sorted out what to get for mom, keep an eye out for even more sales at the end of the month. Memorial Day is May 27th, so you can look for big sales primarily focused on mattresses, large appliances, and seasonal items like grills. This Webert Spirit Smart Series grill is as low as $6.99 at Ace Hardware and BBQ Guys. This midsize gas grill has Wi-Fi functionality and a temperature probe. And a mattress to round out your Memorial Day savings. The Casper Original Hybrid Mattress Queen is as low as $1,146 at Bed Bath & Beyond. CR says this hybrid inner spring and layers of foam is a standout for side sleepers and the spine support it delivers is excellent. With great sleep like that, you'll be sure to be having a spectacular May. In Madison, Shane Hogan, News 3 Now. 
Thank you, Shane. Consumer Reports says it's a good idea to buy sunscreen this month at the beginning of the season so you're ready for the summer. I just did that. Look at that. <laughs> well, through its rigorous test, CR found Copper Tone Water Babies Lotion SPF 50 lived up to its SPF claims and aced tests for broad spectrum sun protection. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, we're heading out into the 608 to find one of Wisconsin's best burgers. Josh Spreider is back with a look at the local restaurant that's turning heads and flipping patties. We'll be right back. Best summer ever with Bachman's Mother's Day Pool Sale. Save 25% off all in stock above ground radiant pools. Visit our showrooms in Madison and Brookfield and save. Go ahead. Relax. It's Bachman's. Elevate your look with Wisconsin Vision. Affordable luxury in every frame. Necessity for some, but suitable for every lifestyle. Ask about our $99 prescription sunglasses. Wisconsin Vision. See more life. Hansen's knows what your home means to you. It's where you feel safe, comfortable, protected. And of course, no other place provides you with as much joy. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are all backed by our guarantee. So you can feel happy in your home for years to come. With professional installation and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Exceeding homeowners' expectations for over 30 years. Get 50% off installation with high quality craftsmanship you can count on. Or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. From windows to roofing to siding to gutters to bathtubs and showers, no one's got you covered like we do. Call 1 800 Hansons. Get it done. It's Empire Today's biggest sale, the 50-50-50 sale. 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. That's right, half off your entire project. You can save thousands. Empire's 50-50-50 sale won't last long. Don't miss 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800-588-2300, Empire Today. Hi, I'm Fiona Rataj with the League of Women Voters of Dane County. Here are three things to know. Make sure you are registered to vote at your current address. You can check or register at myvote.wi.gov. If you do not have a Wisconsin driver's license or state ID, you can register to vote with your municipal clerk by completing the registration form on my vote. Absentee ballots must be requested. Three things to know. Part of News 3 Now's Three Cares Community Impact. Have your best summer ever with Bachman's Mother's Day Pool Sale. Save 25% off all in stock above ground radiant pools. Visit our showrooms in Madison and Brookfield and save. Go ahead, relax, it's Bachman's. Well, right now we are getting an inside look at a local restaurant named for having one of the best burgers in Wisconsin. Josh Spreider is in Cambria with the story. May is beef month in Wisconsin, and the dump was recently featured for having one of Wisconsin's best burgers. Wow. This place is very, very special for the Cambria community. You've been around here for about 20 years. What makes this space so special for you? Well, I think it's a main, uh, main watering hole for everybody um, in the community. Uh, we do a lot of things for the community and give back to the community. So it's, it's, it's a great partnership. Um, we. Uh, kind of become a destination bar through the years. So uh, they travel in from, from quite a ways, so we're told, and uh, you know, we enjoy that. That's, that's awesome. We're, we're here for them, and, and that's what we like to do. And One of the new exciting things that you have right here is this beautiful expansion that has been here for about a year now. I mean, this really opens up the space. We have many activities, entertainment every weekend, and we have the outside music and dining venue here, as you Mark Sean, and uh, so yeah, we're just really excited how everything turned out. A beautiful setup, and of course, you guys just recently honored for being in the Elite Eight of Wisconsin's Best Burger Contest. That had to feel pretty good. It did feel really good, and I want to take the time to 
thank Angie and, and all her girls over there at the Wisconsin Beef Council for, for allowing us to be part of it. You know, it was, it was very exciting for us. And uh, we congratulate Pickles on the, uh, on the win, and it's well-deserved for him. I think that's the thing is, you know, although you guys weren't the ultimate winner, you guys are still a big winner for this community. You know, yeah. when you think of the dump, Abby, what, yeah. what comes to mind? Midwest hospitality, customers, families, our burgers. Our burgers, celebrations, you know, we celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, job promotions, um, just around good food. We've always been really busy, but we've seen even more flow. People from all over the state are coming, and yeah, it just, it's good to see. So if people are interested in coming and checking out the dump, yeah. you guys have a lot of events coming yeah. up, especially so this summer. We really planned an action-packed summer. It's our second year with the Terrace Open. So we have live music every weekend. Um, go on the dump bar, wi.com, check it out. Um, we are actually celebrating our 50th year as the dump this year. Um, previous owners had it 30, Jack's had it for 20. Um, so the entire month of July, we're doing features, specials. We have an adult comedian coming in, a magician. Um, and then winding down our summer is our annual dump run. That's our 20th this year. Um, it's a really great cause. All the um, charity and proceeds stay in Wisconsin, Carbone Cancer Center, Juvenile Diabetes. We've raised 500,000. Wow. Uh, all the money stays in Wisconsin. It's a, we get a great uh, support from our biker community. Mm -hmm. uh, we have pedal bikes, we have classic cars, and then we all end up at the dump. And this year we have six plus um, bands. Mm -hmm. That's and we huge. have a uh, pig roast, a uh, live auction. Yeah. Wow, so there's so many things going on. All right, yeah. before we run out of time, yes. I gotta like dig into this burger. I was gonna cut it. I'm gonna go Guy Fury style, just like I Shane agree. said. I and dig agree. right into it right here on live TV. <laughs> What's better than this? Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> I got that whole thing going on there. <laughs> If you'd like to learn more about what the dump has going this summer, you can go up to the story on channel3000.com. In Cambria, I'm Josh Breider, News 3 Now. That burger is taller than my hair. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can hear Alex's stomach yeah. growling all the way from over here. Yeah. You have to, that like, looks like a hinge fun jaw. place to it go, does. though, with the new expansion. It looks great. It does not look like a dump. It looks uh, very nice. the dump. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll go. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, well, fans are upset with the Janesville Jets. We'll tell you why people are calling for changes to a stadium that will be out of use next year. That's coming up next on Live at 4. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sono Bello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-357-3263 or go to sonobello.com. Hi, it's Preston with Window World, your locally owned and nationally known window company located right here in Madison. Come see what our Window World family can do for your next remodel. It's time to let go and move on to something better. At Window World, get a beautiful new patio door professionally installed for just $3,700. do not wait any longer. Visit windowworldmadison.com or call us today. Want to instantly look more attractive and years younger? The solution is whiter teeth, but you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five-minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. 
My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Suave. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application. After five minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power Swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. This is a Power Swab smile. This is a Power Swab smile. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off this Mother's Day. You'll also receive the Power Swab Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will get free shipping. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Let's take a look outside. That's the B-Cycle yeah. by the UW Memorial Union. Have you ever been on the B-Cycles? I have. They are a lot of fun. They uh, are. It doesn't look like too many people are using them today. No. It's been a little rainy out there. It's been a little bit of everything. The sun yeah. came out for a little while, but that's, a bad new that's bad news when there's storms in the area. Storm chances continue, and here's Alex with the latest. Yeah, you're absolutely correct, Susan. When you get that sun to come out, that primes up that atmosphere, warms up the atmosphere. It's an ingredient for severe thunderstorms. We had severe thunderstorms down uh, over portions of far southeastern Rock County, heading over into Walworth County, where, uh, uh, where our coverage uh, generally ends. But now, the first one weather team, we have our eyes set on the next batch of thunderstorms that's starting to form over eastern Iowa, about 45, 46 miles south and west of Platteville. Our weather models last night were picking up on this next batch of thunderstorms. So this is really verifying, and they have severe thunderstorm warnings for this cell off towards the south and towards the west. As Susan was just mentioning, they have warmed up over southwestern Wisconsin. 73 in Platteville, 76 in Boscobel, 75 in Lone Rock. Cooler in Madison at 66. This again is where the uh, warm, humid air is coming in from the south and from the west, and we're going to be keeping an eye on that line of thunderstorms as it moves into southern Wisconsin. Sorry, we zoomed in and zoomed back out, but Dane County is a bit on the cooler side, that warm air again heading towards us. Our Queen Bee radio sky cam showing those clouds building up over southwestern Wisconsin over the Platteville area. And here's what Future Track is expecting. Seven o'clock, that thunderstorm stretching from Lone Rock to Mineral Point to Monroe, moving over towards the Madison area from the Dells down to Madison to Janesville by the time we get to eight o'clock. A couple of these storms could be on the severe side as we continue to track alert day conditions. Coming up in just a few minutes, we'll let you know when do all these thunderstorm chances end. I have the answer in a little while. Thank you, Alex. We have breaking news out of Beloit. The Rock County Medical Examiner is identifying the man killed by police during an incident last month. Michael P. Ward was pronounced dead at the hospital on April 28th. The medical examiner says the cause of death is still under review as more tests are currently underway. According to the Department of Justice, officers found Ward armed with two bladed weapons. Officers told Ward to drop them, but he did not comply and was shot by an officer. The officer involved has been placed on administrative leave. The Woodman Sports and Convention Center is coming to Janesville in 2025, and it will soon host the Janesville Jets, the city's premier hockey team. Yeah, before it does, the Jets will play one last season in their current arena, but some fans say that's too long to wait. Maddie Heimsch has more. Accessibility. That's what one Janesville mom is asking for in honor of her son, who was a Jets super fan before he passed away in 2022. That accessibility, she says, isn't being provided for other fans in need. Tina Egger says her son Tristan was a Jets super fan. When he came to the Janesville Ice Arena, Tina says he had to sit at the bottom of the wheelchair ramp to watch the games, as the supposedly disabled friendly seating was always taken by season ticket holders. When he passed, the organization held a memorial for Tristan. More importantly, Tina says management made promises. He was devoting to the community that the Jets were going to be an integral part 
of the disabled community. She was excited to hear that the Jets would be increasing accessibility in the ice arena, but now says an entire season later, nothing has changed. On News 3 Now at 6, we'll hear from Jets officials on what they say they've done to cater to all their fans. Reporting in Janesville, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. Maddie, thank you. The city of Madison is listening to its neighborhoods about how federal funds should be spent. The city sent out a survey yesterday to hear from people about how it should spend over $15 million from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. Recently, the city used the money to help remodel homes, support neighborhood centers, and help those experiencing homelessness find somewhere to stay. This plan and the, the feedback that we receive really guides um, how we use this federal funding as well as, well, we can't use this federal funding for these other things that we know the community needs and wants, so we're going to find other sources of funding to make sure that those are also met. Now the city is asking for your input. You can head to the City of Madison website to take the survey and give the city new ideas on how to spend this money. The stock market stagnated today following multiple large companies failing to meet their marks. The Dow Jones rose 31 points, the Nasdaq fell 16, and the S&P is up 6. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, the biggest red carpet event of the year. We'll have the highlights and reactions to last night's Met Gala when Live at 4 returns. If your home is too hot in the summer or too cold in the winter, you probably have leaky wood or vinyl windows. Next Door and Window has the products and expertise to solve those problems. Our Ultrex fiberglass windows are eight times stronger than vinyl, and they're built for extreme weather. They stay snug and tight, so your home is more energy efficient. The strength of fiberglass frames means your windows will open and close effortlessly. Buy one window, get one 40% off. Visit nextwindow.com. When a crane collapsed during construction of a major league sports stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. You think Atlanta's point guard is good for 20 tonight? No question. You hear he got name dropped on that new song? He feeling himself for so. sure. Ever since that track drop, he's been on. The hook literally says his name eight times in a row. He might go for 30. With that much hype, I'd lock it in. But that's just me. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. New at 5, Madison's protest and encampment have held the state's attention now for over a week. Tonight, News 3 Now assesses how that movement is impacting local businesses. The first one weather team started mentioning last week the potential for alert day conditions Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. Coming up at 5, we'll use Future Track to track the latest on our severe weather potential. And ahead at 6, spirits are soaring for the Janesville Jets hockey team, but concerns are being raised over game accessibility. Discover how one mother is ready to face off for a change. That's tonight at 6. 
Welcome back. Zendaya was just one of many stars in full bloom at the Met Gala, fashion's biggest night. The dress code was Garden of Time, and the attendees did not disappoint. No, they did not. As red carpets go, none compares to the bright lights of the Met Gala. Rachel Smith from Entertainment Tonight reports. Fashions are fashioning tonight. It was an ode to nature at the 2024 Met Gala Monday. Gigi, I love the haircut. Give us a secret about the gown, La. The secret is everything is very expensive. <laughs> Probably never be worn again. The 400 strong guest list was handpicked by Vogue editor in chief Anna Wintour, who has chaired the event since 1995. Jennifer Lopez came in a custom Scaparelli couture flanked with over 2 million silver foil beads, while Zendaya first arrived in peacock hues of blue and green, then returning later with a multicolored bouquet headpiece. Among the regulars, Cardi B in a show stopping pitch black gown that took a team oh to carry, and Nicole Kidman with a 1950 Balenciaga look. So this is sort of, as they said, the Sleeping Beauties, the gowns that we love being brought into the future. The Garden of Time was this year's theme, and the Bears' Ioetta Berry in her Met Gala debut stuck to the dress code adorned in, you guessed it, flowers. How are you feeling hitting the staircase? Yeah, it's definitely, there's a lot of people here on the staircase. Kim Kardashian caused a stir with a waist-disappearing silver corset, while Amelia Gray Hamlin donned a light-up gown housing a bundle of roses. Another major theme, time. South African singer Tyla carried an hourglass and wore a dress made of sand molded to her body. How long did it take? A long time. Hours, guys. I've been up since like 6 a.m. And right in the middle of all the hustle and bustle, a friendly face gave out some sage fashion advice. You're not Zendaya. You're not Jennifer Lopez. Uh -huh. you, but you just want to be appropriate and not look like a fool. <laughs> I love Gail King. Yeah. That is so well said. That was Rachel Smith reporting. The Met Gala started in 1948 as a fundraiser for the Costume Institute. The exhibit Sleeping Beauties Reawakening Fashion will be on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art this Friday through September 2nd. Okay, how did we how did Kim Kardashian get her waist this big? She looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> she does. I saw a video where they were like um Oh, pulling the strings, <laughs> and she's like, breathing is an art oh, in this. Yeah. Gives me a stomachache just thinking about mm -hmm. it. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, you may have seen recent headlines about traces of bird flu being found in dairy milk. How concerned should we be about this? UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff is here to explain the virus and efforts to stop its spread when Live at 4 continues. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Attention Wisconsin, get ready for Tundraland's first ever mega sale event. Is your bath looking tired and in need of a serious update? Our mega sale event is the best time to get your new jacuzzi bath or shower from Tundraland. Check this out. Get 100% off on installation and make no payments until 2025. Now that's an incredible deal. And if you call right now, we'll even include a free accent wall upgrade. Just imagine, in one day your bath can go from this to this. With lots of styles to choose from, your bath will look simply amazing. We'll bring the showroom to you and help you find the bath or shower of your dreams. Our certified expert installers will complete your project in as little as one day. And all our jacuzzi baths and showers come with a lifetime warranty. Call now and get free installation, a free accent wall upgrade, and be payment free until 2025. Call 1-800-TUNDRALAND or go to tundraland.com today. CBS Fiber Internet makes our home smarter. Working, playing, living, learning. It's all better with TDS Fiber Internet because it's faster, more reliable. It's award-winning internet served up by friendly local folks. It's what keeps us connected. And isn't that what it's all about? Say hello to internet that hits different. Say hello to TDS.
Woodman. Woodman's. I'm Clint. I'm Phil. Save you big time money on water. 32 packs of Niagara purified water or Chippewa spring water. $3.69 each or two for $7. Hi, Karama. Hot, hot prices on water. $3.69 or two for $7. We buy in truckloads. No one beats our price. Better, better products, products, better prices, better, better service because we're employee owned. It's Woodman's. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Well, this is a look at Platteville right now. Got some clouds up there. Uh, storms are brewing. Alex has been tracking that all day and he will be back later on to fill us in on your latest first storm forecast. Well, dairy cows across the country will be tested for bird flu more closely now to stop the to stop the spread of bird flu. New rules were put in place yesterday after the FDA reported finding fragments of bird flu in pasteurized grocery store milk. Regulators, though, say there is very little risk to humans. There has only been one confirmed case. It was a farm worker in Texas. But UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff is here for his weekly visit with more. Good to Hello. see you, Dr. Hey Potoff. These headlines are alarming, so mm -hmm. it's good to have you here to sort yeah. of put this in context for us. What is bird flu? So bird flu is, is is a form of influenza like we get influenza humans do but it typically affects poultry or birds uh, we typically see it more in Asian countries uh, and in the past when humans were to get bird flu it's not actually easy to catch uh, sometimes the mortality rates were high but these were in Asian countries healthcare systems were different we almost never see bird flu contracted by humans in the United States I think only a handful of cases uh, over the years that it's been tracked uh, so largely not a problem for humans it can be a big uh, issue for the poultry uh, industry and then the impact to humans in is the cost of eggs and, and, and chicken go up so the health risks for humans are seemingly pretty low then yeah rel relatively low if you're you know severely immunocompromised means you have HIV AIDS uh, you come across bird flu you catch it you, you could get pretty sick but even for people who catch it in the United States illness is typically pretty mild I think the reason it raised alarms is because it was found in remnants of pasteurized grocery store milk pasteurization normally kills 99% of all viruses can you get sick if you drink this milk with some of the remnants in it no, so I think it's important to, to recognize that what they're testing for are like little pieces of genetic material that this virus has, but they're not finding complete virus. And then even when they take these genetic remnants and they put it in an egg and they try to grow it, which is the easiest way to grow influenza virus, it doesn't grow. So the milk supply is completely safe. It just has these genetic fragments in it. Is there any type of a vaccine or treatment for the bird flu? So there certainly would be antivirals. We have like Tamiflu that would work. Um, our vaccines aren't specifically targeted to bird flu because we don't often see it. Uh, it's likely that we do have some cross reactivity with our current immune systems. All the flu shots we've gotten, times we've got influenza, that would help us fight bird flu if we were like one of the unlucky people who, who managed to contract it. Yeah. So um, dairy farmers across the country now are going to monitor this more closely. I mean, is there a potential that it would spread rapidly and we have to keep an eye on it? I mean, I think there's always a potential that bird flu could somehow mutate uh, and we would have a version that did easily spread to humans, maybe cause some disease in humans, but that's not the case right now. Um, I think the bigger issue is if we have it in, in cattle and those cattle are close to poultry, um, does this create a, a, an increased risk for, for those poultry farmers uh, if we have natural reservoirs of, of cattle containing uh, bird flu. Yeah. And then so if you know if it affects any type of products, you know, how can people monitor that? Yeah, I think right now just keep an eye on what the FDA is doing, but it's uh, really unlikely I think that we're going to see any food product that has the chance of uh, giving you bird flu. Now, the one thing I will say is it's Wisconsin. There are people listening who have easy access to raw milk that's oh, yeah. in their milk house. And that is a concern. Mm -hmm. A concern. It's always been a concern. High levels of salmonella, listeria, E. coli, um, but that raw milk, uh, if it has bird flu, probably is full viral particles. You do risk the chance of maybe getting bird flu if you're drinking unpasteurized milk that has the virus in it. All right, we'll continue to watch it. That's pretty reassuring, though. You bet. Especially here in the dairy state. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Thank Dr. Potoff. Good to see you. You bet. Same. Well, Alex is back with another check of our first warren forecast. Alex? Brady, we're not out of the woods yet tonight for severe weather to just 
completely vanished. We got a couple more batches of storms that prompted the alert day conditions that we started talking about well over a week ago. Still seeing the potential for hail, high winds, and possibly an isolated tornado. This would be for all of southern Wisconsin for the evening hours. Once we get past dark, we lose the heat of the day and our thunderstorm chances should start to go down. Here's that widespread marginal risk across all of southern Wisconsin. All hazards are possible across the area, but again, the greatest threats, hail, gusty winds, and then a very, very tiny chance of a brief tornado spin-up. We've been keeping an eye on this cell south and west of Platteville. It's still about 45 miles away, but this right here, folks, is the next batch of thunderstorms that will be moving off towards the north, towards the east, which you can actually see in our Queen Bee Radio Skycam. This is the power and the beauty of Skycams. They show you what's coming. If you look in the background, in the foreground, you see some puffy cumulus clouds, but in the background, you see that dark, uh, uh, that dark uh, cloud in the back, that's that cumulonimbus nimbus cloud, that thunderhead way in the distance that's approaching Platteville over the course of the next couple hours. Susan was talking earlier, you need that sunshine, need that heat. Yeah, I've been talking about that for days. Once you get that sunshine and that heat, that's the fuel for the showers and thunderstorms that is built over southwestern Wisconsin. That's where the best chance I think right now this evening for those stronger storms are going to be. We're a little bit cooler here in Dane County. So as the storms move to the east at 730, they're lining up from Lone Rock, let's say down to Dodgeville, over to east of Darlington, over towards Monroe. They'll sweep into Dane County by the time we get to 8 o'clock up to the Dells. This is the last batch. They fizzle a little bit as they enter a cooler environment from the storms that we had from Madison over to Janesville and points off to the east during the afternoon hours. But still, nonetheless, an isolated severe storm is not out of the question for Dane County, Columbia County, the Dells, and Janesville this evening as well. Then it all quiets down by the time we get to mid night. Weekend forecast, well, let's fast forward here to give you the first forecast for the upcoming weekend. Saturday, not the nicest of the days with showers, a couple isolated thunderstorms, highs around 62 degrees. Not expecting an all-day washout on Saturday, but nonetheless, some shower activity. Mother's Day Sunday. That is picture perfect, 73 degrees. Look at the winds, north at five, so barely non-existent winds as it looks like right now, and sunny conditions, so a gorgeous day. You can plan ahead for that. It looks pretty likely that Sunday is going to be a nice day, and that's the nicest day, actually, at least when you think about all the rain chances we have in the future here. Sunday is that dry day and Monday, on Mother's Day. Otherwise, we have on and off shower and storm chances really through the rest of the 10-day forecast period. Not all day washouts, but on and off storm chances, but staying mild. We'll be back in a few minutes. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Get the last roof you'll ever need with Menards Steel Roofing. It offers superior wind and hail resistance and is available in cut-to-your-length panels for fast installation. For 65 years, Menards has been the one-stop shop for post-frame buildings. Get a free estimate now, in-store, and on Menards.com. Plus, get an 11% rebate on steel roofing and post-frame buildings. Save big money at Menards. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty Matters. For Imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For Imprint for certain. Let's hit the road. The road to winning at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton, Iowa. You're just a short drive away from a weekend full of fun, food, and winning. Plenty of slots calling your name, table games too. Or watch and wager on the games in our DraftKings Sportsbook. There's something for everyone at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton. You'd rather be here. Hi, it's Preston with Window World, your locally owned and nationally known window company located right here in Madison. Come see what our Window World family can do for your next remodel. Get a house full of Window World windows for just $90 a month. That's 10 4,000 series award-winning windows fully installed and warranted for life. Visit windowworldmadison.com or call us today. First one weather team at five will continue to track thunderstorm chances across southern Wisconsin that will end this evening. The latest future track coming up. Plus, we examine how Madison's protest and encampment are influencing local businesses in that area. That's coming up next. 
Breast cancer is the most common form of cancer in women. Join the News 3 Now team in the fight against breast cancer at the Susan G. Komen More Than Pink Walk, Saturday, June 8th at the Alliant Energy Center. Well, this week marks Teacher Appreciation Week in Wisconsin. And one teacher in Cambridge was treated to a special surprise today for all of her hard work and dedication. Sarah Krajewski is the art teacher at Cambridge Elementary School, and today she was honored as one of five Wisconsin Teachers of the Year. Krajewski has been teaching at the elementary school since 2015 and has her teaching philosophy up on her classroom wall. It reads, my job is to be here for you, mentally, emotionally, and artistically. Ms. Krajewski, you are positive, creative, mindful, amazing, and you're an artist. Your classroom is bursting with color, expression, and inspiration. You've brought visiting artists into the classroom to show students that artists are people just like they are. Congratulations. As part of her responsibilities, Krajewski also puts an art fair on every year featuring thousands of wow. student art pieces. Well earned. Very happy for her. Yes. Yeah. We'll be right back. Imagine having a Medicare Advantage plan that can help cover costs for dental services or even groceries. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is offering special benefits called Essential Extras, available for Medicare Advantage plan members. If you're new to Medicare, have Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible to enroll today. Unsure if you're eligible? Our licensed insurance agents can help. Just call the number on your screen today. Medicare Advantage plans cover everything in original Medicare Parts A and B while offering coverage for additional benefits. With Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plans, you could get no-cost essential extras you might not expect. These plans may include allowances for dental, vision, hearing, assistive devices, or even money for healthy groceries. That's not all, though. You could also get an allowance to help pay for utility costs like gas, electric, water, or sewer. It can even be used towards internet and cellular providers. Explore 2024 Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plans with essential extras in your zip code by calling today. If you're new to Medicare, have Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible. Essential extras could even include transportation to plan approved destinations. But you won't get a plan with additional benefits automatically. You have to call to see if you're eligible to enroll. Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield is proud to offer these special no-cost Medicare Advantage plan benefits that help provide comfort and convenience to make everyday life easier. Don't miss out. Call Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield today to explore 2024 Medicare Advantage plans with essential extras. If you're new to Medicare, on Medicaid, or recently moved, you could be eligible. Call 800-694-1143. 800-694-1143. That's 800-694-1143. Attention, Wisconsin. Get ready for Tundraland's first ever mega sale event. Is your bath tired looking in need of a serious upgrade? Our mega sales event is the best time to get your new bath or shower from Tundraland. Check this out. Call now, get free installation, a free accent wall upgrade, and be payment free until 2025. That's all the time we have for Live at Four on this Tuesday. Brady's in the newsroom with what to expect in our coverage moving forward. Brady? Tomorrow on Live at Four, AI is hanging up the travel industry. We're sitting down with Wendy Gillette to find out how. And next at five, we're taking a deep dive into the government's efforts to fight the opioid crisis. Thanks for joining us on Live at Four. We hope to see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place. News 3 Now at Five starts right now.